हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर मैथ्स क्लास यूनिट इलेवन एरिया एंड इट्स बाउंड्री एरिया मीन्स द प्लेस ऑक्यूपाइड बाय अ फ्लैट शेप और सरफेस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज कॉल्ड एरिया दिस आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू एंड द बाउंड्री मीन्स इट्स पैरीमीटर द पैरीमीटर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू दैट the sum of all the sides of a figure is called the perimeter the sum of all the sides of a figure is called the perimeter in my previous video we have learned about the area and perimeter of a square in our this video we will learn about the area and perimeter related to the rectangle now students as you know that this is the rectangle so we will write it down you know that the rectangle has two sides as a length and the two sides as a breadth because its uh, two sides are different so we can tell it as a length and breadth if you see that this is called the length which is denoted by l and this is called the breadth which is denoted by b isn't it now let's measure the length and breadth of this rectangle as i have drawn the length of this rectangle is 5 cm and the breadth of this rectangle is 3 cm the length here is 5 cm and breadth here is 3 cm now here also students the area of a this object is the space occupied by this object so if we want to find out the area of this rectangle first of all we are supposed to find out what is the shape now what the first method we can do we can find out by by the two methods isn't it one is by counting the squares and other is by finding out the formula first of all we will learn about the counting the squares isn't it okay so we can see that students here the we are i have drawn the squares so in a rectangle if we see of the length 5 cm and breadth 3 cm the squares if we measure then how many squares are there let's count it out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so the squares here are 15 squares so what is the area of this rectangle if we see the area of this rectangle is is equals to 15 square centimeter here also we will use the term of square centimeter the area of the rectangle is 15 square centimeter now if you want to find out the area of the square with the help of a formula then the area of the rectangle the formula for finding out the area of rectangle is is equals to as it is having a length and it is having a breadth the area of rectangle is l multiplied by b l into b if you want to find out the area of this rectangle then we will write down this is the formula isn't it area of a rectangle this is the formula according to based on this formula if you want to find out the area of this rectangle then we will write down first of all we are supposed to write down The length is equals to five centimeter and breadth is equals to three centimeter. Then area of rectangle is equals to L into B. L here is five and B is here is three. L is length and B is breadth. Three. 
five threes are fifteen. So what is the area? Fifteen square centimeter, isn't it? So the area of this square is fifteen square centimeter. We find it out by the help of this formula. Okay. Understood, friends? Now same way here also we will learn about the perimeter. What is the perimeter? The sum of the all the sides of an object is called its perimeter. The sum of the sides of all the objects is called its perimeter. So here also we will find out the perimeter. To find out the perimeter of a rectangle. of rectangle we are having a formula that is 2 l plus b 2 l plus b now students first of all i will explain you how do we get this formula okay now students if you have seen the rectangle it has the opposite sides are same means this side is 5 then this will be also 5 centimeter this is 3 centimeter so this will be also 3 centimeter okay this is 5 this is 5 and this is 3 and that's how we also 3 so if we want to sum the sides if you want to add this what we have the basic thing what we have learned the add addition of all the sides so if we add this all the sides then we are supposed to write down like this i will explain you here we are supposed to add it that 3 plus 5 plus 5 sorry 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 if I saw 3 5 3 5 if we add this 3 plus 5 how much it is 3 plus 5 3 plus 5 8 8 plus 3 11 11 plus 5 16 isn't it 3 3 plus 5 8 11 plus 8 plus 3 11 11 plus 5 16 the so perimeter here is 16 okay 16 centimeter but you can see here how many times 5 is there two times how many times 3 is there again it is two times so we can take that 2 and comma length is 5 so that is 5 and plus breadth is 3 so that this way we have taken 8 comma one time we are supposed to add this time and we are supposed to multiply it by 2 means we are getting double so similarly as if to avoid by such type of adding we can directly use this formula to length plus breadth means length and breadth is to be added and then has to be multiplied by 2 because length and breadth both are two times here so we are multiplying it by 2 understood students so similarly in this formula 2 length is 5 plus 3 so 5 plus 3 is 8 so 2 bracket 8 now that means 2 is to be multiplied this bracket so 2 multiply by 8 2 8s are 16 so the perimeter of this rectangle is 16 centimeter understood students Okay, so here also in this also you are supposed to write down this everything finding out the area of the rectangle it is draw the square there is no need to write down this so if you want don't want to write down the pencil work you cannot write that down then area of rectangle by using the formula and area of pair rectangle by using the perimeter of rectangle by using the formula this also you will write down under the students so now we will solve some of the sums related to the area and perimeter of rectangle and square. Question we will write, this is your question 1. Fine the area 
and perimeter of the following. Okay, first you can see L is equals to 7 centimeter. Okay, students, now only length is given. That means if once length is given, that means we are talking about the square because only length is there because in square all the sides are the same. So this square. So first of all, we will find out the area is equal area of square is equals to L into L that means 7 into 7 which 7 7 is a 49 s cube centimeter now perimeter of square is equals to what is the perimeter of a square 4 multiplied by L 4 as it is and L is 7 4 7s are 28 28 centimeter now the square perimeter of a square is 28 centimeter similarly students let's find out the one more sum I will give you length 3 centimeter breadth 10 centimeter Now this length is also there and breadth is also there, isn't it? Both are different. So it is a rectangle that you are supposed to understood. Now area of rectangle is equals to what is the area of rectangle? L into B. So friends, you are supposed to remember this all formulas, okay? L into B. Now L is 3 centimeter. And breadth is 10 centimeter. 3 tens are 30. Area is there, so we write down square centimeter. So the area of the rectangle is 30 square centimeter. Now let's find out the perimeter. Of rectangle is equals to to L plus B. Now putting the length and breadth into the formula 2 as it is length is 3 and breadth is 10. Now first add is this 3 plus 10 13. Now 13 is to be multiplied by 2. 2 multiplied by 13 is equal to 26 centimeter. So what is the perimeter of this centimeter square rectangle? It is 26 centimeter. And what is the area of this rectangle? It is 30 square centimeter. Students, some of the time you will get the area and the perimeter same also. But most of the time you can get the area of perimeter of a same substance is to be same also. And it can be different also. Now I will give some of the sums so that you can solve the sums in the continuation. See, length is also same, breadth is also. Again, this is the square also, square only. So don't get Confuse length and length breadth both the things if they are same then it is the square only so don't get confused here
this all the standard range are centimeter only okay students i will change it this is meter and this is also meter understood so this is your homework in continuation only you are supposed to solve this sums also understood students this all the things you are supposed to do in your notebook only